everyone and welcome. This is Jane from JaneLiberated.com. I am here once again to add value to your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, add value to people's life and your own life will never remain the same. You can really not give what you don't have. And at the same time, you cannot defend the God you don't know. Wake up, Africans. Wake up from your sleep. Wake up from the evil manipulation of the false teachers, the false prophets, equally the demons that exist as our leaders. It is too obvious that people have been manipulated or are still being manipulated in this 21 century to believe all the lies people have used the name of god so rampant that things are getting from bad to worse i was not able to sleep yesterday a friend of mine called me to bring my attention to what is happening in nigeria and I was so devastated that I could not even sleep. It was the longest night I have ever experienced. What you don't have, you can really not give. And what you don't believe, you can also not give. The God you don't know, you can also not define that same God. My pains, my cry, my sympathy goes to the families that lost their loved ones. We all are Nigerians. I might be living in the Western world. My families, my children are from Nigeria. They will want to go to Nigeria one day to see their motherland. But what is going on right now is so devastated that a lot of people have kept their mouth shut. After all, when you go to most churches today, the false prophets are collecting offerings, collecting money, collecting everything. They are not doing what they are supposed to do to bring Nigeria in order. No matter the situation, yes, some pastors, some prophets, some genuine men of God have gone out to protest against stopping or putting an end to this brutality, end to SARS in Nigeria. And yet, some of them are still praying the prayer of kill, kill, kill them, kill my enemy, Destroy the altars of my father's house. Do this or that. Lives were being lost yesterday. They were being slaughtered like animals. I happened to saw a video where a boy was crying over a lady. I wept bitterly. That could have been your child. That could have been your daughter. What are the preachers doing about this? What are our leaders? What are our leaders also doing about this? It is only one Nigeria. Instead of exploiting people, exploiting the widows, the orphans, go out, defend the youth, go out, fight for the youth. And the police and the soldiers that are shooting those peaceful people that are protesting, they were trying to fight for your own benefits. Videos have gone viral. People are talking about how much police officers, sergeants, corporal, they receive. And this same youth came to the street to protest. And the same soldiers, the same police opened fire on them. The video was so disturbing. You can hear the sound of gun shooting as if it is a war. Is not supposed to be so. I stand for end SARS in Nigeria, end police brutality. 
do away with all these old leaders, the same people, the same, the same people, the same story. The same protest happened in America and police and soldiers were protecting the protesters. But in Africa, the very youths that came out on streets without food, without water, sleeping on the streets, trying to fight for better Nigeria, we are being killed by the same soldiers, police, that we are meant to protect them and they we are fighting for. This is not right. End SARS today. End the brutality of the police. Let there be peace in Nigeria. And may the souls of all those that we have murdered rest in peace. And may God give the families the fortitude to bear the loss. I go for one minute silence for those that lost their lives. May the souls of all the faithful, all the heroes that died in this protest, rest in perfect peace. Have a fantastic day. Remain blessed. Bye.